Hey everybody, hopefully you're here to join me so I can talk a little bit about weight management tip, trips, tip, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk, tricks and tips part one. Uh, so I apologize, I'm about a half a minute late. I was trying to get somebody signed up in Canada and they're having some problems with the site again so I had to work through that. So um, I am uh, coming to you fresh from the pool so I didn't get a chance to dress up or do my hair or anything. So. So you don't see me anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I've got my screen on. Anyway, this is Jenny with doTERRA, and I am just trying to share some tips and uh, tricks for weight management. You know, people always are worried about their weight. Am I too heavy? Am I too light? Trying to gain weight, trying to lose weight. You know, we're always trying to keep our weight where we want it, right? Hey, Barbara. Hi, Karina. So glad you could join us. So let's go through some of these um, tips that we have right now, and I'm going to see how this works. I did my very first PowerPoint presentation, so I hope somebody's proud of me. I'm proud of me because I, I kept fighting doing PowerPoint because I didn't think I knew how. Um, so actually, it's not that hard, I guess. So anyway, I am Ginny. A lot of you guys know me already. I'm an entrepreneur. I've been an entrepreneur since the early 90s. No, late 80s, actually. I had my own DJ business when I was 17 until I was about 19, and then... I started my own organic mattress and bedding company and baby company selling textiles um, that I did until about 2012, at which time I kind of headed over to doTERRA and, and running my own doTERRA business. So always been kind of on my own doing that, graduated in psychology at college, and I have in the past few years learned to be a certified essential oils coach so I can help other people use essential oils and other you know, tips and stuff to help them with their daily issues so that we can all be happier and healthier. So my goal, of course, is to help you maintain a happy, healthy life and utilizing the many tools that you have to help yourself because there's a lot of tools out there and hopefully we can learn how to use them. So we know what fails us. So we know a lot of people go to their doctor for fast weight loss results, pills, or surgery. Unfortunately, and we probably all know this, right? You have friends. Um, a lot of these are usually short-lived. They're temporary solutions, um, and you know they slip back into the old patterns, old old way of doing things and may not you know get the results that they're looking for we have weight loss fad diets and I don't even know how many there are I watched TV the other day and there's even more now there's there's paleo and and keto and I don't know there's just a gazillion of them out there all these fad diets and unfortunately um, any fad diet is gonna be really hard to maintain because it's you're stepping way way out of your comfort zone um, and, and it's a sudden shift and you can't maintain that for life and, you know that's gonna be a really really hard thing to do um, people who are trying to um, you know they're trying to maybe gain weight or they're trying to um, lose weight using these powders or they're trying to do some weird exercises right um, not always the best thing to do and if you feel free to chime in with any questions Absolutely, as we're going through this, I want to answer questions along the way because I have learned a lot about this. Um, and so I want to share everything that I've learned with you guys and kind of summarize it for you so that you don't have to go through the hours and hours of video watching that I had to do. Um, hopefully we can do this faster this way. Um, so I'm, I'm not saying you can go eat fast food all day and maintain healthy weight using essential oils or tapping, which we'll talk about here too, and you know other procedures and stuff, because it's not true. I mean, you know, the fact is you can't just put garbage in and expect to, you know, be the person you want to be. But if you don't utilize the things that I'm talking about today, then you'll likely fall into a huge percentage of people who go from one diet to another without getting lasting results. So people have been there. We know that. So today we're going to talk about some revolutionary techniques that will help you get the results that you want. Today I'm going to show you how to achieve weight management faster and easier than ever before. This was a funny cartoon, so I just really wanted to share this with you. Um, <laughs> so she's got the gun in her hand. If you're frustrated with how your weight and how you feel, yes, don't shoot the scale. It's not the scale's fault, guys. It's our fault. It's life's fault. But we just have to figure out how to, we're working on a workaround, right? We're going to figure it out. So watch this, and it will help you change how you think about weight management. And so one of the things I want you to type in is what are the biggest challenges that you think about when you're thinking about getting to your ideal weight? So if you're trying to gain weight a little bit, if you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to redistribute weight, then go ahead and type those in on the chat so that I can know what the biggest challenge, challenges you perceive that you're facing. And hopefully we'll be addressing all of these. And if we aren't, then I'll add that, right? So I'm going to show you another cool tool to use in your weight challenges, which is the tapping, because that's something very new that a lot of us um, are not experienced with. So 
um, feel free to chat in whenever, type in whatever to add, you know, if you have any questions or anything. So tapping is something, and if you're not familiar with EFT or tapping, um, it's usually done in these uh, points that you can see on the screen right now. Top of the head is one, the side of the eye, the eyebrow, and the very inner part where the hairline kind of ends there, um, under your eye on that bone, under your nose, between your lip and your nose, that area, your chin just under your lip, not down on the bulgy part of your chin, but down in that little crevice there, your collarbone, and then, of course, um, down under your arm, more more down, not just in the armpit, but under below that. That are some. Of, those are some of the key tapping points, and we'll talk a little bit about what tapping is, um, just a little bit today, and then we'll go into a little bit more deeply next week, because um, I'm going to continue this series for a few weeks, because there's a lot of information. I really want to keep these short, um, so that we can learn a little bit at a time. So we're trying to get to our weight goals without those fad diets, that crazy stuff, the low-fat detox, juice diet, cabbage diet, macrobiotic diet, grapefruit diet, liquid diet. You know, we've got all these crazy things that we're trying to do, which really aren't going to you know, serve us as well in the long run. And of course, who likes those crazy exercises? Actually, I'm curious, how many of you, because I do, I'm going to admit this, how many of you have some of these crazy contraptions in your home? Because you think you're going to use them, and I've used them a few times, but they are weird. They're really hard for me to, to wrap my brain around and to use because I have to get in all these weird positions, get all these weird you know, ropes and whatnot. I mean, this this totally looks like one of the things I have. So it's true. We do. We do, we look for anything to try to lose that extra weight. Uh, and yeah, Barbara, I know it is. It's hard. We crave sweets. And we're going to go into why you crave sweets in this presentation today, actually. So you'll get to learn that now. So I'm going to show you some proven ways to maintain good weight with scientifically proven methods. We want things that are going to work. And we want, this will work regardless of whether you're a seasoned tapper and essential oil pro or brand new. So, you know, we're going to address both things. because You're probably new at one or the other. Like I'm new at tapping and essential oils, I'm you know, a little bit more experience at pro. I don't know. I don't think I'll ever be pro. There's way too much information, but you know, I work with what I have right now. I want you to do something for yourself. I want you to get comfortable. So make sure you're sitting in a comfortable position and then take a deep breath, get out your breather, easy air, essential oil. If you have it handy, so it's breathing U S easy air in Canada, you grab it, get that out, take a deep breath of that inhale deeply. Exhale, feel centered in this moment right now. So this is where you're learning to take control of your weight goals. So let's try to get ourselves centered so that we can focus. What you'll learn here will make sense and will help you hopefully finally achieve results if you utilize it, obviously. You can only receive results if you actually do things. Um, and unlike so many of the fads and misinformation that's being targeted you at, at you each day, Today, we can end that struggle. We're going to make it easy and fun. So today, let's change your life. We're all struggling. We know that. And we know there's ways to change it. Let's find some easier ways because, yeah, I mean, we think, yeah, you could change that if you could have the absolute willpower to resist the temptations that are out there and to de-stress your life and all these things. That's not easy. And that's, that's you know, not even possible for some of us. So we need to find some tricks in order to do this. So as women, weight is such an emotional subject. You know, are we too fat? Are we too skinny? Is this too big? Is that too big? Is that too small? You know, this is what we deal with as women, right? And it hurts our self-esteem. It you know, impacts our activities, whether we're underweight, overweight, whatever, it hurts our activities. It hurts our likelihood to make friends. And you always think, you know, if I was just you know, prettier, I'd feel more comfortable walking up to people and making friends because you are more you self-assured when you look better, especially as women, we deal with that a lot. And we try really hard, but we can't seem to get control of our weight. And it breaks us down. It makes us feel that this is just not obtainable. And so we're desperate to keep getting in, and we keep getting in these patterns of we try, we fail, and we try again, because we're always looking for a method. And maybe we shouldn't look for a method, but instead a style. So, you know, we do program after program, what does it end? Frustration every time, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't be here because we wouldn't need to lose or gain weight. So we wouldn't be here. So we blame genetics. You know, we know it has a, you know, it can be a component, but we blame it for everything. We blame lack of time. We blame our physical issues on why we can't get into shape. And we feel bad when someone says we're too skinny or too fat. 
we get angry at our body, you know, bad body. Why are you doing this to me? You're driving me crazy. Why won't you just be the way I want you to be? Stop gaining weight or stop losing weight or whatever, right? We're trying another diet and then we fail again. So that is, you know, that is just going to cause us more stress, which ironically is going to help us gain weight, right? So always thinking about your weight, feeling guilty, stressing does cause you to have more weight issues. And I'll discuss why that works the way it does. So do we not learn that these fad things are not working? It's time to try something different. Like I, Einstein said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So if these fad diets and stuff aren't working for you, let's find some other way to do this. Undesired weight is a symptom of things that are going on. So they may be very old things that have plagued you for decades. And this is a very linked to why tapping works uh, because we have some old issues and issues do affect the way we hold on to weight. We get stressed and we reach for comfort food. Our reaction to the stress then actually causes us that extra weight, weight gain. So the solution, combat the stress, not the response, the eating. Let's combat the stress first so that the eating won't come so much. So you feel unmotivated, you don't wanna do any exercises at all, so you need to get motivated so that you want to take, go take a walk. But motivation is a feeling. So let's see how we can change our feelings, our motivation, our reasons. Sometimes motivation comes from others. You met a handsome man or you have a big event coming up. So if you can think of any, I mean, think of things that would motivate you. What makes you all of a sudden make a change? And yes, we all feel your pain, Karina. So we know, I mean, as you get older, it gets harder. Our, it seems like our bodies fight, fight us. And there's a few reasons for that. As we get older, we tend to be more stressed. We're holding on to a lot of stress. We've had 40 years to gain all that stress and be stressed about a lot of different things that have occurred in our life. And we also have the hormone shift that goes on. It seems like we exercise more, we eat less, and we're still gaining weight. So totally feel your pain. I'm there too. You know, always wondering, where did that extra five pounds come from? I'm not eating that much. I'm eating less than I ever ate. Why can't I eat the way I ate when I was in my 20s? That was really fun. <laughs> so let's get our motivation from within. Let's find out what's preventing us from getting our weight under control. And the truth is to get your ideal weight and stay there, you need to focus on the underlying causes that keep you from eating well and exercising. So there's many hormones fluctuating in our bodies, and these are affected by stress, anxiety, overwhelming situations, events. And when you're stressed, the amygdala tells your body to release cortisol and adrenaline, which shuts down the problem-solving part of your brain. So now we've added another issue, right? This slows down your digestion and constricts your blood vessels. And we eat and eat and eat. Stress takes over, we get tired. So we need energy and we look for that energy in food. Now how your body and brain function, you know, in moments of stress, how strong your food cravings come on and how quickly your brain can react to a given situation, those things can all combine mean that when you're stressed, you make worse decisions about what to eat, breaking your eating, and your exercise habits, and you struggle to digest quickly, you put on more weight. Have you ever had it happen that you're stressed and like all of a sudden you find yourself like halfway through a box of cookies or something and you think to yourself, why did I do that? And you feel like you lost mental control of what's going on. It's happened, I know it's happened to you. I know it's happened to me, get through that chocolate or something like that. The stress just takes over your body and it inhibits your ability to think clearly and make good decisions. And the foods we crave during those stressful times don't help either because what are those foods? You know what those foods are. Those are the, oh, the sugary carbohydrates. That's our comfort food, right? And they increase brain com concentrations of an amino acid called tryptophan, which is the building block for serotonin. So we know this, right? And serotonin is that neurotransmitter, which when it's released, brings about feelings of calm, happiness, peace, and satisfaction. So we overeat because our brain is looking for pleasure. Overeating the moment serves a great purpose. It makes us feel great until the side effects set in. And shortly after your sugar rush, your insulin levels drop and you feel exhausted, which triggers your craving for more. Because again, your body's looking for energy, but we're reaching for that quick energy, those sugary carbohydrates to get us back to that high. And that's the vicious cycle that a lot of people will struggle with 
um, when they're trying to lose weight. You know, is it everybody's problem? No. A lot of people um, have a hormone shift that is helping them gain a little bit of weight, but you do need to recognize that when that hormone shift happens, yes, you're going to have to cut back a little bit more on your foods. Um, otherwise, you will absolutely gain weight. Um, and you've got to remember what stress does to us. So, you know, most people are stressed on a regular basis. That's just what happens. And then when you put that person on a diet, they're focusing to lose weight and eliminate those comfort foods. Is that really going to happen? Your stress goes through the roof. So you're on a diet and you're causing yourself more stress because you're dieting, right? Because you're under chronic stress. A lot of people are. And then it makes it really hard because you're under stress and then you're stressed about what you're eating. And, you know, you may exercise, you're still putting on weight. You, you know, sometimes you're on a diet, you can fight past those, you know, in biological inhibitors with sheer willpower, right? And you can fight those tough brain inhibitors, inhibitors <laughs> that make it hard to make those good decisions. You can fight past all that slowed down digestive system and manage to lose some weight, but that gets exhausting. And especially when you lose a few pounds, and then what happens? You start to relax a little bit, and then of course the willpower, you know, goes down a little bit because you don't need it as bad, right? You lost some weight, and then the weight is back on. So again, you know, you, you get this vicious cycle, and sometimes you're gaining more weight than you actually had lost in the regain. Now you're regaining more weight, so you're dieting, you're dealing with stress, and you, you see this whole thing kind of tumbling down, and you're just keep struggling to lose weight, and it gets worse and worse. So. Um, one of the things I want to talk about, and I'm going to shut off my screen now, so that's the part I did on PowerPoint. I want